All right, so what I like to look at with this is if you guys look at these two triangles, you can see they're exactly the same, right? And when Carly, when I talk about Carly going through, is that it? Exactly. If you guys look at a triangle and you have an angle bisector, all I want you guys to understand is, yes, the proportion of their sides, right? The ratio of their sides are proportional to each other, OK? So if you guys look at this, you could say, OK, well, here is a bisector, right? We have an angle bisector. So therefore, I can say, would it be OK for me to say 27 is to 19? Yes? So I'll write one ratio, 27 is to 19. But now we have an issue. Because now the problem is, what is my other ratio? What is B proportionate to? Well, well, be careful. 28 is this whole segment. 28 is it half of it, though? Do we know? We know that this line cuts this angle in half, but we, it doesn't necessarily cut the side in half. So if this is B and, that's, and this whole thing is 28, what does this have to be? Then you have more variables, yeah? Close, it's going to be 28 minus B, OK? So you're going to want to take the length of 28 and then subtract B. Now again, we still don't know what B is. However, Malik, now we have a ratio Oh, I'm sorry, not 28. But now what we do is we have a ratio that we can set. OK? Now I'll apply my cross multiplication. And I will use my calculator on this one. So I calculate, say, 27 times 28 minus b equals 19 times b. So do 27 times 28, 756 minus 27b equals 19b. Add 27b, 756 equals 16, so that'd be 46b. OK, then I'll divide by 46, divide by 46, and b equals 16.43. Unless there was a mistake that I made. It's a b. Unless there is a mistake I made in each one of those, but I believe 27 over 15. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I did write down the wrong problem. Should be 15, but it's OK. The answer for this case will be 16.43. So I wrote down the wrong numbers, but that's OK. All right, guys, make sure you.